taking a look at a 1987 Citroen CX-25 GTI. This car has actually been in the U.S. from new, thanks to the efforts of a company called CX Automotive that imported these in the 80s. So we'll talk a little more about them. But first, let's get the car started up, and then we'll take it for a drive. So CX Automotive, based in New Jersey, they imported these CXs into the U.S. from a facility they had in Holland, but uh, the parent company, Citroën, in Paris wanted nothing to do with them. So they were forced to buy direct from dealers in Belgium and Germany, take them to Holland, and then they would make them compliable with U.S. Uh, federal safety standards. So a noble effort, and they were able to import about 2,000 of these cars over that time. But they were expensive. Uh, the list price in the U.S. was about 40,000 bucks in the early 80s, which was obviously a lot of money back then. Still a lot of money today. California. He took it to a noted CX expert in the Los Angeles area, went through the car, uh, replaced all the spheres, did some brake work, did some electrical work, some work to the fuel system, adjusted the valves. So really got the car driving nice. Uh, the only thing that was not sorted is the air conditioning. So I guess the reason Citroen exited the U.S. market in 1974, and I guess the reason that uh, the U.S. DOT had a beef with them is that they didn't like cars with height adjustable steering, or I'm sorry, height adjustable suspension, and the steering they probably also didn't like this self-centering, speed-sensitive steering. They probably didn't like that either. But of course, the height adjustable suspension is one of the coolest things about the car. So let's take a look at that now. <laughs> 